In this video, we'll show you how to prevent unauthorized account access by setting up a multi-factor authentication, or MFA, login requirement for your Salesforce users. When MFA is turned on, users must provide multiple pieces of evidence, or factors, to prove their identity before they can log in. The first factor is the user's username and password. For a second factor, users provide a verification method such as a mobile authenticator app or a physical security key. By requiring multiple types of factors for logins, even if a bad actor steals a user's password, it's unlikely that they can also guess or hack the user's verification method. Now let's see how the login process changes when MFA is enabled. The first time Karen logs in after MFA is enabled, she's prompted to register a verification method. She'll use this method as her second authentication factor each time she logs in going forward. Salesforce allows several types of verification methods for MFA, including the Salesforce Authenticator app, third-party time-based one-time password apps like Google Authenticator, and U2F compatible security keys, such as Yubico's YubiKey. Salesforce Authenticator is a free mobile app for iOS and Android devices. Karen is going to use this app as her verification method. She starts by installing Salesforce Authenticator from the App Store or Google Play. After she installs Salesforce Authenticator, she launches the app and takes a quick tour. Now Karen is ready to connect Salesforce Authenticator to her Salesforce account. On her mobile device, she taps Add an Account. Salesforce Authenticator generates a unique two-word phrase. Back in Salesforce, Karen enters the phrase and clicks Connect. Then she's prompted to confirm the connection in Salesforce Authenticator. She reviews the details to make sure the connection request is legitimate. Yes, it's her connecting to Salesforce. So she taps Connect. And that's it. Karen has successfully connected Salesforce Authenticator to her Salesforce account, and she finishes logging in. Now let's see how Karen uses the app as a second factor when she logs into Salesforce. She enters her username and password, as usual. Then Salesforce Authenticator sends a push notification to her mobile device. Karen opens the app to see all the details of the login request. She verifies that the request is coming from her, then taps Approve to finish logging in.